What's up everyone, hope you guys are all having a great day today. I'm finally on a consistent upload schedule for once, you know, don't get used to it. But uh, how are you guys doing? Yesterday I went to Chicago to see Lake Michigan being dyed green and had some very interesting conversations with some drunk people on the street, but you know, that's just how life goes I guess. Surprisingly the conversations I had with the drunk people were pretty smart for how much those people had been drinking, and they were definitely smarter than the videos that we're about to be watching today. So before I get into this shit, let me just say that I I am in no way a fan of Dark Souls or From Software. Are they bad games? Absolutely not. Just not really my thing. So when I tell you that this entire weekend I've been fucking addicted to Elden Ring, when usually I fucking despise these games, that should tell you, hey, maybe this is a good game. Now. While I definitely do like Elden Ring, I'm still gonna admit this game is for a very specific set of people, yet surprisingly it's selling a lot better than a lot of people including myself were expecting. Which is great, this is gonna show developers that they don't need to make their games for fucking two year olds for those games to sell well. However, with the massive amount of newcomers that decided to buy Elden Ring to check it out from all the good publicity, there was always going to be that specific retarded crowd of people that demand from software's games to get an easy mode. That was a given. However, I don't I don't think anyone was anticipating the people begging for this to be so fucking retarded. Now, I'm not really gonna get too far into the should From Software games have an easy mode debate, cause let's face it, if you're watching this video you've already seen better videos on it and I'd just be wasting your damn time. If you haven't done that though, go watch the Ackman's video on this topic. All I'm gonna say is that if you were to give Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Sekiro, or Bloodborne an easy mode, it would be essentially like giving Silent Hill a not scary mode. It would defeat the purpose of the game. You don't like it? Play something else. But it needs to be accessible! Sure, as long as it's not breaking the core idea of the game, of course, make your game as accessible as possible. But one thing to keep in mind here is that games as a whole aren't for everyone. The visually impaired might not be able to watch movies, and the deaf might not be able to listen to music. That's how this shit works, that's how it's always worked. You might be able to find loopholes around this, but again, if you're breaking the entire idea around the game to the point where it's almost unrecognizable, then what the hell is the point anymore? Which brings us to the videos that we're gonna be watching today. Yeah, there's multiple videos for today, welcome to hell. So we're gonna be looking at Quantum TV again and how he absolutely doesn't understand Elden Ring whatsoever and then the video after that is of him doubling down from the criticism he gets. And holy shit these videos are bad. Like genuinely these videos, specifically the second one we're gonna watch, are probably some of the most retarded videos I've seen this year. So enough talking and let's see what YouTube has shout out today. So. Today I'll be giving you guys a review of Elden Ring. No spoilers and none of that other nonsense and we're gonna get straight to the point. Essentially, don't buy this game. That's the easy answer. Now if you want the long answer, stay until the end and you will find out. Essentially in a nutshell though, the name of the game should not be called Elden Ring. The name of the game should be called You Died. Again and again and again. Oh my god! Wow! Wow, it's almost like this is a From Software game, which is a studio that is literally infamous for how hard their games are. Don't tell me that you didn't research this game before dropping down $60, did you? I, I really hope not. Because that's all you're really gonna spend most of your time doing. You're gonna die because the game has no easy difficulty and frankly is extremely hard. And Bandai Namco likes to do this a lot in a lot of their games where they make it just insanely difficult. And, and this is how you know this guy has absolutely no fucking clue what he's talking about. Namco is developing the game? Fucking Christ. There, the difficulty spikes when you get to certain bosses are just, it's so unfair that you'll find yourself spending so many hours losing time away from your life. So I would say this game is for somebody who really is looking for a sandbox. They have no family no friends, no life, and they have literally thousands of hours to grind away on a game to level up enough so that they don't end up losing. Keep this clip in mind right here. He is insulting the people that like the game. This is gonna come up in the second video. J just wait, put like a pin on it or whatever. I don't fucking know. Because I tell you one thing about this game that's not really a spoiler, but something you should know. When you die, you lose everything you collected. No, you fucking don't, you absolute retard. You lose the runes which you use to level up. That's literally it. At least from my knowledge, I mean, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And even if you do lose the runes, you can very easily pick them up by going back to the spot where you died. Like genuinely, you would have to be fucking brain dead to forget to pick up your runes after you die. Everything. 
that means you start over. So leveling up is extremely hard because of the nature of the game and its difficulty level. And, it, and it's not fun. There is nothing fun about this game for somebody who is new to the franchise. Eh, I mean, maybe for you. Again, I've never played a Souls game before aside from attempting to get into Dark Souls 3 twice, once at a friend's house and the other time when I actually got the game, which I actually, fun fact, I returned it because I was complete shit at it. But I mean, sure, you don't think the game is fun? I feel that. You don't like it? I get it. It's definitely not for everyone. But the issue here is when you try to say that the game is objectively bad or that no new players are going to like the game because it's too hard, when obviously that isn't true from the massive amount of fans this series has. Literally every single one of those people who were new to the franchise at one point had to struggle like you're doing. Hell, I'm literally in your exact same position. You'll notice that in this video I'm not using any Elden Ring gameplay because I'm complete shit at the game. I'm getting fucked in the ass every time I play it, and if I were to show gameplay, 90% of it would be loading screens of me loading in after dying. And again, don't get me wrong, Elden Ring definitely has its problems. The frame rate and optimization on PC is complete fucking dog shit. Personally, I find the world to be kind of empty, at least in the starting area. But the game being fucking hard is nowhere near one. I think if you're somebody who played something like Dark Souls before, uh, you probably would like it, but if you're somebody new, the menu is cluttered, it's it's really hard to read, and it, it's it's not user interface friendly, it, and then the controls, and then all of this is just clunky, the whole game feels like a clunker, right? I mean, again, it's almost like that's the entire fucking point of all of From Software's games, which is why beating them feels so accomplishing. And then you look at the graphic style, it's a joke, it is literally a joke. It is like last gen being sold for new gen. Jesus Christ, it is not a fucking next gen game for Christ's sake. It literally runs on a PS4 and Xbox One. I don't get where these massive expectations for groundbreaking graphics comes from. To be completely honest, we're still at the very beginning of the generation with next to no next gen only exclusives. Literally nothing is going to be pushing the hardware of the next gen consoles right now. That shit usually comes in around two to three years after the hardware drops. And with all the cross gen games coming out right now, now it's probably going to be even longer. And Digital Foundry did a full breakdown kind of confirming everything I already knew playing the game and most of us already knew playing the game. That the game's frame rates are trash. Like you, you pay so much money for these consoles, these next gen consoles, just to get scammed. I mean, who here is sick and tired of 4K30? I know I am. Then don't bother with fucking consoles, it is not that hard. We could have kept PS4 Pro and Xbox Series S for that. Fact. Especially with a 1440p resolution and things that go lower. We're not getting the top tier graphics. We aren't. And they're not even trying to utilize the system. These developers are coming out with these games and they're just slapping PS5 and Xbox Series X on the box without ever even attempting to tap into the power. Because again, these are cross-gen games, and aside from adding in ray tracing or boosting the frame rate and resolution, there's really nothing else they can do. And again, without any requirement to do so, to call themselves a, a, a multi-plat for that system, it's just the same thing. And what's even worse, the most egregious crime, is that even on PC, this game runs poorly. Only way that you can get this game to look really good, as Digital Foundry so gently pointed out, was using PS4, I'll say that again, PS4 on the PS5. Yeah, I'll be fair, that is absolutely inexcusable that the fucking last gen version of the game on PS5 runs better than the actual PS5 version of the game. Why would I do that? Like, I don't understand, like, who they made this game for where, like, you want low frame rates, but that, that for me, that's a massive deal breaker. I'm a massive motion buff, and to do something like that is unacceptable. Then you take into consideration the fact that, again, most of your time in the open world is spent just like running around kind of aimlessly if I'm being honest. It's one no, that's just your standard open world game. Even more proof that you didn't bother to research what type of game this was. Like again, it's fine if you don't like that stuff in your games. But then the question comes up again, why the fuck did you buy it? And even more in depth, if you didn't like it, why didn't you return it? A part of me is willing to bet that he just looked at the Metacritic score, saw that it was a 96, and then bought the game doing no further research those games were like there it's so spread out the map is so big you're gonna spend a lot of time running around in a very open field that doesn't necessarily have a particular purpose for being that open and maybe that might be a little personal gripe for me that most might not share but i'd like there to be a purpose to almost everything like everything is interactable and things like that but then you are playing the wrong damn game it just doesn't feel like that 
I guess the initial point of this video is to say that like, unless you are somebody who wants a severe challenge, I mean, you're the kind of person you like dying 500 times in a row and you like restarting and literally losing everything and going back to a save point, starting from scratch. If you like that kind of thing, Elden Ring is your game. If you don't like dying again and again and again and again and again, don't buy this game. If you Where is no fucking shit? Give it up for Quantum TV, everyone. Really doing God's work out here, telling the world what we really need to know, that Elden Ring is a hard game and that a significant amount of people aren't going to like it. It's almost like you could find that information out by doing the bare minimum of research on From Software's games. And if you had done that, we wouldn't be here right now, and I'd be happily going on another three-week hiatus. Fuck you, asshole. You get frustrated very easily, or you come home from work and you're just trying to unwind and relax, this is not a game for you. And I think without spoiling any parts of the story, which is lackluster by the way, I think that will be as honest as anyone's going to be about this product. I don't know who they made it for. It's not a fun game, and honestly, graphically, it has some serious challenges as far as frame rates and how the, again, textures even are produced in some frame rate mode. So again, I, I couldn't speak lowly enough about this game. I don't recommend it. And I think if you're smart, you'll just play something else. That's the review. Take it or leave it. Okay, that outro literally just gave me seven different tumors all over my body. Does he think doing a fucking dance in a Deadpool costume is funny or something? I would suicide bait right now. However, we have a whole other video to watch still. And you thought the last one was bad? Holy fuck. Fuck, you're in for some shit. So as you would expect, after he posted that god-awful video, he got a lot of shit for it. Obviously, I don't agree with the harassment, but the criticism he got was pretty fair. And then he decided to make a response video to the backlash, and it is somehow even worse than the original video. So we're just gonna stop talking and jump right into this shit. Oh boy. So as you guys know, I did a review on Elden Ring. That didn't go very well apparently for some people and namely the veterans of the dark souls series this is where that whole clip i showed from earlier comes to play so remember how i just said how he was insulting the people in the souls community here i'll play the clip again so i would say this game is for somebody who really is looking for a sandbox they have no family no friends no life and they have literally thousands of hours to grind away on a game to level up enough so that they don't end up losing. Wow, it's almost like if you insult people for simply liking a fucking game in a review of that very game by calling them no lives, that they have no friends, that you're going to get shit for that. And those same people you were just shitting on are gonna say similar shit back to you. This is a certified IGN moment right here, everyone. And the funniest part about this whole video is that he's acting like he's fucking surprised this is happening. But you think this shit right here is lacking self-awareness? Holy shit, just fucking wait, because it gets way fucking worse. So, I'm receiving some backlash now that I wanted to address with some of you because a lot of you are not only being childish, but I don't think you're actually seeing this objectively. No, they're not acting childish. If anyone was acting childish, it was you. Because you're the one literally shitting on people for liking a game. And not only that, but you are also spreading objectively false information. But yeah, no, they're the ones being childish. I mean, how dare you criticize my objectively flawed review? To punish you, I'm gonna call in my friends over at IGN. So I will try to put this in a way that maybe you can understand, to understand where average players are coming from. You see, Every single Dark Souls fan watching this video right now had to die a million and one times to learn how to play that game. Using Exactly, which is why it makes no sense when you say that Elden Ring, which is honestly significantly easier than the other Souls games from how many options the game gives you to grind out shit to fight a boss, is only made for people that have played Souls games before. Because obviously, from the reason I've just explained, it's fucking not. Probably isn't specifically for you because of how hard it is, which again is totally fine. So I have no clue why you can't just go, okay, these games aren't for me, and then just move the fuck on. That experience then laterally jumping over over into Elden Ring, you're able to, again, experience that level of challenge, but it's not as hard because you've already done something similar before. But you see, somebody like me, I've never played Elden Ring. I've never played Dark Souls. I don't even, I didn't even know Elden Ring was a part of the Dark Souls series because I don't follow that series, right? 
For one, it's not a part of the series, it's a new IP, it just has really similar elements to Dark Souls. But that aside, if you didn't even know the game was going to be this hard, and you don't like hard games, then why the fuck did you buy the damn game? Jesus Christ, I'm sounding like a broken fucking record at this point. It takes all of 5 seconds to do a Google search on whether Elden Ring is a hard game or not. You shouldn't need to follow Dark Souls to know that a game from a studio that is literally infamous for making the hardest games around is going to be hard. Again, how do you not research shit before buying it? Literally all this is telling me is that you make terrible spending decisions. And so, when you see that there is a brand new Xbox Series X and PS5 exclusive in a time like now, where we have like nothing to play hardly. Again, clearly showing he does no research on pretty much everything when it comes to this game. It's fucking cross-gen. Wait, you even said it was cross-gen in the last video and now it's a next-gen exclusive? The fucking No Maidens meme needs to be changed to No Brain. Like. Horizon Forbidden West was like the biggest thing, we're waiting on maybe Gran Turismo, not gonna lie, it looks boring to me, so I'm still gonna be playing Forza. So I don't really have a whole lot to pick from right now, and I'm trying to think of every little thing, and Elden Ring pops up, people talk it up, they say it's great, I give it a go as a complete and total outsider to the series. And you know what I'm met with when I talk about flaws? With the series, the same thing I met with the TV world, where when you mention a problem with something, fans of that series just damage control it. They'll say st Nobody was calling you out for pointing out the objective flaws of Elden Ring. I literally just said, when you talked about the performance of the game, you were absolutely correct, and it's probably the only thing you actually got right in that video. The people who are damage controlling for the frame rate are fanboys, and they should be looked at as nothing more than that. But everything else you tried to say was a flaw was basically just you bitching about extremely subjective things like the difficulty the world and the gameplay stupid petty chisty catty childish shit like oh you've lost credibility because you've spoke your mind you you gave your opinion you now have no credibility with me it's not because you spoke your mind. If anyone's saying that, they're a fucking retard. Again, it's because you brought up objectively false information to try to give off an implication that the game was objectively bad. Okay, bye bitch. I don't give a fuck. The reality is, that's my opinion based off of playing it as a new person. They have no easy mode. The graphics are dog shit. Now, I don't know how many of you like to game, but let me just give you a little personal insight as to how I like to game. I come home from work, I'm trying to unwind, I'm trying to relax. I'm not trying to sit there stressed out on some fucking game, yelling at the screen, trying to hashtag get good, because that's like this mentality that all you guys have kind of gotten submitted into. You guys literally sound like, like, abuse victims right like you're in a really shitty relationship and that's just how it is man you know you just take it on the chin man is how it is and fuck that you paid for that experience and pretty much everyone going into the game knew it was going to be hard because they actually did research before dropping down 60 dollars to play a game that they might not even like you're literally acting like your audience was forcing you to play elden ring and do a shitty review on it there are other games to play right now hell you want to play a game that's similar to elden ring but isn't as hard breath of the wild is right fucking there honestly for me i kind of like honestly for me personally i kind of like breath of the wild more than elden ring although to be fair it's probably because of my nostalgic attachment to that game it, it, you shouldn't be saying that's how it is or, you know, we just know that that's how the, these games are. Or it's not for everyone. A game that's not for everyone isn't a game that should be made, in my opinion. <laughs> Bro, how the fuck are you this dumb? This shit just got brought up to a whole new level of retardation, Jesus Christ. A game that isn't for everyone shouldn't be made. Okay, fine. You like Forza, right? Well, you guys want to know something about me personally, I fucking hate racing games. I find them boring as shit, and just nothing about them really interests me. Again, there's nothing objectively wrong with Forza, it's just not for me. I tried Horizon 5 on Game Pass, played about a half hour of it, and dropped it because I just wasn't fucking with it. Hell, even Dark Souls 3. When I came over to my friend's house and tried it, I wasn't fucking with it. A few months later, I saw it was on sale and decided to give it another chance, but I still wasn't fucking with it when I did, and I returned it. God only knows why I like Elden Ring, but hey. Those two games, again, nothing I can say is objectively wrong with them, just not for me. But by that logic, they shouldn't be made? I'm sorry, but literally with every game, someone in the world is not going to like it. That's how the world works. Breath of the Wild, some people aren't going to like how weapons break so easily in that game. Doom Eternal, people might not like shooters. Resident Evil, people don't like to get scared. The Last of Us, people don't like story-based games. It's a really simple concept to understand. God, that has to be literally the stupidest argument I have ever 
ever heard arguing against any game. Games are supposed to be fun, transcend the reality that we have right now, take you to new worlds, give you new abilities, you're allowed to do things that you never ever could do in the real world without consequence, and be accessible to anyone regardless of experience level. And Elden Ring is accessible unless you're just too fucking stupid to open the game, which honest to god I wouldn't put it past you at this point. That's why, why I play games, like I don't play games to be stressed out. And so when I pick up Elden Ring, and I keep dying, and the bosses are hard, and you have to keep grinding, it just turns into a grind fest. If you took the thrill of dying a bunch of times out, or if the bosses were really easy, I'm pretty sure most of you diehard fans would probably be pissed off and probably call the game what it really is. Trash. Yeah, because it would defeat the entire purpose of a Souls game. That's why we keep making fun of anyone begging for an easy mode in these games. Because the reality is, if it wasn't so ridiculously hard, and you had the thrill of dying a bunch of times, it's really a lackluster game with shitty graphics. But the fact is, if that one part is taken out, you know, that's the only thing that would make you admit that. But even then, many of you would probably damage control and defend it like you do with probably everything else you own and like. No, I think that's like the only thing Souls fanboys won't defend. Because once you attach to something and you get feelings for something, you don't want to be realistic. And the reality is, again, I'm new to the franchise. I had no idea what it is. And then, of course, when you go to the community as a new gamer, you would uh, you would think, right, as a gamer, you'd have people being welcoming. I, had I mean, they probably would have been welcoming if you didn't fucking insult them. Maybe five people in the whole comment thread. Like, hey, man. You know, let's do those bosses together, I'll help you out. And those people are probably saints for not making fun of this dude. You know, only five people. The rest of them were like, oh, you're a clown, you've lost credibility. It's, it's demeaning, player shaming bullshit because you're new to a game that's known, by the way, for being incredibly fucking difficult. And it's your fault, not the devs fault for not thinking of every single player of all kinds of walks of life. I mean, yeah, it is every single developer, hell, every single creator of pretty much everything, whether it be movies, books, games, shows, music, has a specific target audience. Like, I don't see a fucking grown man unironically reading the Twilight series. Even with this very video, I have a target audience. People who have played and enjoyed Elden Ring or people who liked laughing at dumb shit. They don't care. It, it's it's a challenge, and it has to be for players who think every game is fucking easy, and if you aren't one of those players, then you are a scumbag, you filthy casual. And why the hell would you be taking those people seriously? At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. I say less. Shut the fuck up, Nier. Nobody asked you, but- What? You have got to be fucking shitting me. Just when I thought this dude could not sink any lower by not understanding the creation of entertainment whatsoever, it just sunk even fucking lower. Weren't you literally just bitching about people harassing you in the comments section and telling you similar shit to that? And now you're telling people who are simply making fun of your shitty review to game end? Oh my god. This dude is an actual piece of shit. This genuinely has to be like one of the worst fucking videos I have ever seen. I mean, at least Malgolum was a pretty obvious troll and he was funny. This guy is outright fucking telling people to kill themselves over internet drama. Dude, chill. It's a fucking game. Let's sit here and like be demeaned and talked down to because I don't enjoy a shit fest of a game that has poor graphics that didn't optimize for my gaming console, that has low frame rates that are a fucking joke for the power of the machine, and worse yet, it's ridiculously difficult so I can't even get into it and enjoy it. Oh my god, is he actually trying to say that the difficulty is more of a problem than the objectively shit frame rates and optimization? This dude is so brain dead, man, I think I'm actually going insane. With the story mode that is just so lackluster, it is beyond bad and and the fact that like everybody kind of already knows this but kind of takes it on the chin giving these developers a pass for the thrill of running around and co-oping with friends online it's what's wrong with gaming today and it's the reason they're going to keep doing shit like this hey if you like that kind of game enjoy it have fun blow your mind but i don't enjoy games like that and now you're trying to flee to the whole it's my opinion route come the fuck on i've seen this shit like a million times at this point if it's not as fun as playing mario karts like that that pure innocent fun you get when you're just enjoying a mario game then it's not a fun fucking game if you've got to really work to enjoy your experience that is not fun at least from my perspective. Now, if you have your opinion, that's fine. But listen, dude, don't come on here being disrespectful because a guy told you that the game that wasn't made for everybody as you knew wasn't made for everybody. Well, that's not what you were saying. You were saying the game was objectively bad because it was hard. You were saying objectively false information. You insulted the fans of the game right off the bat. And on top of that, you just told people to kill themselves. You have absolutely no right to ask people not to be disrespectful to you. And I'm one of those people. I don't like a hard game that's ridiculously hard for no reason. And I think, again, 
most people aren't gonna like this game as there's a lot of negative feedback. What kind of echo chamber are you living in? And the commonality being the game is too hard. No, that's just what retards like Jim Sterling are saying. The review isn't the game is so hard, so the game is bad. Well, that really seems like what you've been saying across the last like 12 minutes of videos you've made. You have so many millions of players telling you this game is hard. Take a fucking hint. Only the top handful of players can really one shot a boss or really beat a boss without trying. And the reality is most of us live lives. We have families. We don't have time to throw thousands of hours into a game, hundreds of hours into a game to get better at a game that really shouldn't be that fucking hard. We're just trying to enjoy ourselves. So just don't play the game. And weren't you just saying that the game would be complete shit if it didn't have the difficulty? Now you're going back to the game needing an easy mode? Eat that same energy. And if you don't understand that, then maybe that's where your misunderstanding is. But hopefully by explaining this to you, I can maybe kind of smooth out your aggression and your backlash. Again, nothing against you. It's not a personal attack. You like what you like, but... Right, that's why you just told those exact people that you're now talking to to kill themselves. It is childish to look at somebody and say that, you know, you're X, Y, and Z because you don't like the video game I like. I, it doesn't run that deep for me. It's a fucking game, and at the end of the day, it's a trash game. It's going to stay on the shelf, and I stand by what I said 100%. I don't recommend it, and I think anyone who bought that game, frankly, likes a challenge. You were one of those diehard players. But don't they have no life, too? But for most people, it's not recommended. And that's the video. Jesus Christ, thank fuck it's over. Holy shit, that was awful. Like, genuinely, throughout that entire video, I was wanting to smash my head into my mic. He didn't understand the game at all, and on top of that, he was trying to play the victim when he was the one who made the shitty review. He made the insults against the people who like Elden Ring, and now he's telling people to kill themselves over it. Holy shit. Like, I remember checking this dude out when Griffin made fun of him, and it was like, okay, yeah, the dude's a fucking retard, nothing more, nothing less, but god damn, you're a fucking piece of shit. Like, I think this is actually pissing me off from how much of a piece of shit this dude is. And after Mischief made a video on him, he threatened to copyright strike him. So, you know, come the fuck at me, my man. I'll be waiting. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, join my Discord, follow my Twitter, and if you didn't, you know, false flag me and see what fucking happens. I dare you. What are you going to do?